Let me ask you whether this rise to 41 percent of assets is driven by new money that is coming into the market or by the appreciation of money that was already there. How much of each? It's, it's mostly due to the appreciation. Uh, but we have to remember here uh, that uh, the flow impulse that is behind any given appreciation in the equity market is not equal to the change in the market cap. Uh, for example, think about what happened over the past 12 months. The global equity market has expanded by $50 trillion. We clearly didn't have $50 trillion of buying flow over the past 12 months. Um, so, yes, it is uh, true that most of these shift to 41% record high equity allocation for U.S. households is, has been driven by the equity appreciation. But the flow here, behind that retail impulse that has uh, been behind the equity market over the past 12 months, has been important in driving that equity appreciation. So you are seeing more flows in. I mean, typically individual investors put more money into bond funds uh, than they put, have been putting into equity funds. Are you seeing flows into 401ks, equity funds, equity ETFs? Yes. Um, um, in fact, uh, there is a little bit of a change in behavior with the third stimulus uh, checks, uh, the third round of stimulus checks. During the first and the second rounds of stimulus checks, the flow impulse by retail investors into the equity market was propagating via purchases of individual stocks rather than equity funds. The third route appears to be different. The third route of stimulus checks has been propagating into the equity market, mostly via equity ETFs, hmm. where, yes, year to date, uh, the uh, inflow into these equity ETFs uh, has been close to $300 billion, exceeding the flow into bond funds. Wow. So a lot of the money, instead of going into individual names, is going into those ETFs. I'm also curious, because you kind of imply here, Nicholas, that this is analogous to the dot-com craze saying that, you know, when retail investors are in, they're supporting the market, but then they all get out at once, and that's how you get uh, this market collapse. Do you really think that that's a risk right now, and how much of a risk is it? I mean, when, when might we see that sentiment all of a sudden change? And obviously, I know the answer is when prices start falling, but what are you thinking through in terms of time frame? Yes, it is, it is a risk, um, and uh, uh, it's, you know, obviously difficult to... Uh, gates here, the timing, I think it can happen um, any time and you don't need any particular trigger. The lesson from 2000, uh, the burst of the dot-com bubble at the time, was that you don't need a policy trigger or other macro trigger to, to cause uh, the change uh, in the equity trend. Um, at the time, it was simply momentum fading. And retail investors in particular started getting out of the equity market, start, starting taking profit of the previous year's gains. And that's the risk here over, over the next months and quarters, I think, uh, that uh, at some point, um, if the momentum in the equity market flattens, retail investors start getting out, uh, taking profit of the money that they made um, over the past year. And that has been obviously... Uh, a very strong gain. Yeah, so there, there's the risk that, that, that equity investors, uh, particularly the new ones, um, get a little jumpy and pull out, and that could pull things down. Are you already seeing some of that in, in, in the form of uh, hedge funds and others that have pulled money out of the market? Not yet. I think uh, there is uh, a little bit uh, of slowing in the buying pace in the sense that uh, the March buying of equity funds uh, was a lot stronger than in April. Um, and perhaps mm -hmm. that's natural because most of the bulk of the stimulus checks uh, was paid uh, into U.S. households uh, during March. Um, and, and, and that, I think, is it's, it's a sign here that the impact, if you want, from the third round of stimulus checks is you know, somehow right. failing. But we are not yet seeing, though, investors getting out, effectively selling of equity funds or selling of individual stocks. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.